My name is Pete Peters. My love and passion from the outdoors was passed on to me at a very young age from both of my parents who took me hunting and fishing. They're both gone now, they've passed away, but what they taught me, I'll never forget. The most important thing is to have a personal faith in God through his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. They also taught me to enjoy, be respectful, and appreciate the outdoors that God has created for all of us to enjoy. When it comes to turkey hunting though, we didn't have turkeys in Wisconsin when I grew up, and especially in the far northwest part of the state where I live, near Lake Superior. So I knew nothing about hunting turkeys when I grew up. So about 20 years ago, my brother-in-law Mike took me under his wing, and he's been my turkey hunting mentor ever since. I've been blessed to harvest 29 turkeys now in multiple states. So on this hunt, our good friend Dan Shafter helped us with a strategy for this late season bird in the very last season that Wisconsin had, which can be very difficult. The birds have been hunted hard, it's late in the season, they're hand up a lot of times. And our strategy was to use some decoys, but then have Dan move around and get behind us and call from different directions. And the strategy worked. We finally got this big tom close enough to take a shot. Well, Lord, we just thank you for this beautiful day. And just the peace and quiet we have in the woods. We pray that we would have an enjoyable hunt today and learn something new. mix of fields, balsam and spruce, some food plots for deer hunting in the fall. And we've had three or four different toms gobble this morning on the roost. We've been here since about 4.30 a.m. It is the last season of the 2020 Wisconsin hunt, May 20th. We have a friend of ours from our church that lives and breathes turkey hunting. Dan Shafter, and he sat up behind us, been calling and flapping his wings like a bird. But because of the high visibility of where we're set up this morning, we've got four decoys out. As an old duck hunter, I tend to use more decoys than some guys. We've got birds around us, we just don't know where they're going to go this morning. coming right now. Okay. I'm going to look over here and see if I can pull them up. Okay. Okay.
He's got I'm on him.
that's a long shot. That's a long shot. <gasps> that hen I thought was going to just toast us. <laughs> Yes. We got him, man. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, a, that was a shot. I did not oh, see ever. Could you could you see him out there that whole time? No, I could not. not. Oh, I, I got, got all my hands. Well, we got a video for you. Oh man, he is strutting all over the place for forever. Uh, Dan, that's gonna be right up there with one of my longer shots ever. I thought he was gonna go. It was it was kind of like. One of those things, now or never. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day with my friends. I can't believe we got that bird. Oh. Dan, we had a hen five yards from the blind. I thought we were toast when she started. He, she heard you with the camera, Nathan. She did? The hen was right here? Dan, the hen was right there. Nathan's making some noise with the camera. And she locked. No well, when she got all when she got all nervous right here, yeah, standing. Oh, there, I thought we were done. That's why I figured I cluck a little bit and calm her down. And she took off then, walking. Hey, we're supposed to be social distancing. <laughs> that's a heck of a bird. That is a that is a monster. Man, I threw my back out this morning, putting oh. the decoys out. Oh, did you? Okay. And I've been just a, a mess. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Congrats, Pete, huh? There Thanks. Is, you know, when, I, when I came over here and owl called this morning, he sounded off. He was the first bird that sounded off this he morning. He was. There must have been five birds. Oh, huh? at least five. There was one to the east, one to the south, um, two to the north. I, I'm and thinking we should have been in another blind. Well, that's. <laughs> that's yeah, they, what I, I'm thinking Dan, I told Nathan, Dan's saying right now we should have been in that blind over there because <laughs> well, of where they were this morning. Yeah. Okay, Nathan, I really like the setup right here. This, this is, is where we always wanted the blind. <laughs> <laughs> I told him all morning I don't like the setup. I don't know how I would have set it well, up. I like that corner, like yeah, right there. Yep. Or I thought, I said, you know, even back there would have been better. The first hen of the morning that was just going nuts down here, Yeah. I could see her head right here. And I go, Nathan, don't move. I go, uh, there's a hen right over there. And she stood there the longest time. You could just see her head. In fact, Nathan, you couldn't see her for a while. And then she finally walked out, the second one behind her. Jeez, yeah. Danny came right here. He saw the two hens. Yeah. I thought, oh, this is going to be great. He's going to follow him right up to me. Yeah. Then he hangs up. He turns. He goes back over the hill into the woods. It's like, it's over. All of a sudden, you can see his fan starting again. Yeah. He started spinning around down here. Nathan has some incredible video. Oh, oh good. It's... And then all of a sudden, a fan comes over the hill. It's like, ah, we're, we're in the game again. Yeah. And he starts coming in a little closer. And then all of a sudden this hen pops up right in front of us, five yards away. Yeah. Nathan's moving the cameras around and she turns and locks right in on the blind. I'm thinking if she gives the old alarm cool. alert signal, mm. he's gone. She keyed right in on the blind because yeah. she heard something. Yeah. And then uh, I thought it's over. And then she finally stepped behind the pine tree. So I brought the gun up and then he, well, we'll see it. He folds his wings in, head comes up and he starts heading this way, and I tell Nathan, I gotta try it. Yeah. Yeah. And that was well, it. Well, I yelped a few more times or and clucked. That helped. Yeah. That helped um, a lot. That was my branch right there, Nathan. Was what I set yesterday thinking, if I can get him to there. We couldn't get him to there. He was smart. So that's why I shoot heavy shot fours. Oh, yeah. If you get a long one, yeah. If they're close, it works great. Yeah. But if they're long, you want a heavier bigger pellet well, and you dropped him right there at Stone 60 dump. yards yeah he he, uh, he went I, down i counted 60 paces you, you never man. make those shots if you don't take them but you don't take them until it's your last resort that, that's where a young bird dan or a jake would have run right in this morning and we'd have taken them at 20 yards but this guy just hung up and stayed there extended range three and a half inch heavy shot four so i want to kill him dead like you saw and i've done it multiple yeah, times yeah. now He's a big boy, so he's got a big gun. <laughs> big gun with big shells. He likes to launch them. This is my lucky hat. <laughs> Psalm 4610. Be still and know that I am God. It's this great scripture. It's a good reminder to yeah. meditate. Praise God. We might try to hang him on a limb. Yeah, it's a limb hanger. Oh, we got her. We have, we have reached it. Before it falls. In that passage of scripture, God says, 
be still and know that I am God. And he is to be exalted over all the rulers and all the land. God created all that we enjoy as hunters, and I'm mindful of that when I hunt and I think of that verse. So for me to be still and know that I am God reminds me to be grateful for all God has given me, my wonderful wife, my kids, my grandchildren, and the outdoors that I love and have a passion for.